Let's start learning how to debug a sample program using breakpoints. Here I have a sample program hello underscore world dot pi and the logic is pretty simple. At line number two you can see there is one variable i initialized to zero then its value is incremented by 100 at line number three. Then we are printing the value and at line number five we are subtracting 20 from it and finally we are printing the value of the variable i again. So it's a simple code. The logic is not important. The thing that is important is to learn how to place breakpoints, how to execute the code in debug mode. What is a breakpoint, specifically a line breakpoint? It's a specific marker where the program halts during the debug session. So wherever we want to place the breakpoint, we just need to click on the gutter over here. So at line number four, I want to place a breakpoint. Let me click over here in the gutter and I can remove it by clicking again. Let me place it back and at line number six I'm going to place the breakpoint again. So I have two line breakpoints at line number four and line number six. Now if I run the program in debug mode ideally the program flow should suspend here. So to run a code in debug mode what I can do I can click on the file right click and select the debug hello world or on top of the file over here in the content I can do a right click and select this debug option. Now let me click here. Two things we can notice. The program has halted right. We can see this blue marker at line number four. The program is halted here and this debugger window has come up right. When we run the code in normal way the console is shown but here the debugger has come and when the program is halted at line number four, you can see at line number two, the value of i is displayed. This is one debugging feature of PyCharm where it shows the value in line. It is a feature called inline debugging which helps us to understand what is the value over here. Coming back to the flow of the program, the flow is halted over here and we can move to the next breakpoint by clicking on this particular button, resume program or the shortcut F9. If I click the resume button, the control flow would jump to this particular line that is line number six. So here the value of i is 100 because we have added 100 to zero. Now if I jump from here to here what will happen its value will decrease by 20 and it should become 80. Now let me click on this resume program button. So this line got executed and this line's execution is pending that is line number six execution is pending line number five is already executed. If you see at line number two the inline value is 80. We know what is the value over here. In this way we can place the breakpoint we can move from one breakpoint to other breakpoint by using the resume button and there are many other features of debugging we will learn in the coming lessons. So when the program is running what we can do from here we can resume from here. In that case the program would end because I don't have any further lines to execute. So the last line will execute here it will display the value of i and the flow would end. So the flow is ended here and the control has gone to the console window. In the console we can see the values are printed. I mean if I have run the program in normal run method right without using the debug this print statements would have printed the value the same way the console will show the values there is no difference but this debugger window has multiple features which gets activated only during debugging we will discuss those details in the next video lessons.